We're here at VMworld 2018 in Las Vegas, and we're visiting with the Big Switch booth. Uh, can you tell us about Big Switch Networks and what you're showing here at VMworld? Yeah, I'm Greg Holzrichter, Chief Marketing Officer here at Big Switch, and we're showing off our cloud-first networking portfolio, specifically how we're integrating into NSXT and support for vSAN. Uh, and uh, basically are, are here for the uh, fourth year in a row and uh, looking forward to uh, talking about this new portfolio. And so how do you fit into the uh, VMware ecosystem? So we're a VMware partner. Uh, we support vSphere as well as uh, NSX. Uh, we have VTEP integration to give you end-to-end uh, -end visibility between your virtual and your physical network. And we also have seamless integration into vSAN, and you can think of Big Switch as the easy button of networking for your uh, hyperconverged uh, rollout uh, deployments. And so we've been asking some of the other vendors here at VMworld, where do you think the future of networking is going to go over the course of the next year? Yeah, you know, it's really interesting. The uh, Over 65% of the uh, folks that were surveyed recently have a hybrid cloud approach. And so networking is fundamental to that hybrid cloud strategy. Uh, Big Switch is here talking about our cloud-first networking uh, solution, which really is a uh, approach to deal with hybrid cloud. And specifically, we've taken a look at AWS and virtual private cloud, VPCs, as the unit of measure in networks. The reason that so many organizations have moved their applications to the public cloud is that uh, Amazon and the other web players made it incredibly easy to configure that VPC once and then delegate control to your DevOps teams or your act teams. We actually have the exact same concept of a VPC, but we've deployed that on-prem. And we did that from the get-go with the engineering decisions that we made when we were re-architecting our solution to be an SDN underlay back in 2012. So the very same concepts of a VPC are native within the big cloud fabric solution, making it very easy to delegate control to your V admin teams, uh, no more having to go to the NetOps team to uh, configure and, and deploy every single VM pushed into production. Uh, you basically have a logical VPC that's pushed out to your vAdmin team. There's a tab in vCenter, and you're off to the races. So this concept of consistency of management, where you have a VPC, we call it v VPC Enterprise, this on-prem, as well as an SDN controller as a VM managing your VPC in AWS, in Azure, in Google, gives you this consistency of management through what we call a multi-cloud director. And that gives you a single pane of glass that shows you all of your SDN uh, management points, whether that's in your data center in San Francisco or your AWS East instance, uh, plus integration with uh, monitoring and analytics. And so it's really a very unique approach, and it ties in very nicely with NSX as they are spanning into the public cloud with AWS. And as of yesterday, the announcement of AWS supporting uh, relational databases on-prem. So you can think of Big Switch as the underlay for all of these NSX deployments. And would it be possible for us to take a look at the product? Yeah, in fact, we have a demo of uh, integration with NSXT, and we'd love to show you that right now. My name is Sachin. Uh, and I'm a technical marketing engineer at Big Switch Networks. And what I'm going to show you today is uh, a demo of how the NSXT, uh, how we create an enterprise VPC for an NSXT uh, integration and provide real time visibility and uh, enhance the troubleshooting, right? So, just a quick uh, introduction on like what uh, the Big Switch Fabric Controller is. So, what Big Switch uh, Big Cloud Fabric Controller is, is STN based controller that controls a leaf spine based uh, uh, IP class network. And we integrate with, uh, we basically present ourselves as a single logical switch. And we integrate with various VMware STDC products. Uh, and to uh, show you a few. So what we are showing here is basically we are creating enterprise VPCs or eVPCs, which is very similar to uh, the concept of Amazon VPC, right? which provides you with multi-tenancy and logical isolation. So we, what we are doing here is creating eVPCs for each of the VMware deployments. So we can see we are creating a one for NSX, for vSphere deployments, for VIO, VIC, uh, vSAN, and all the different SEDC products. 
Fabric Enterprise Cloud Controller is an ideal underlay fabric for your NSXT deployments. So it brings the power of SDN both in overlay and underlay for you, right? And what we are doing here is by creating the NSXT EVPC in the underlay, we are showing you real-time visibility for not only NSX hosts, VTFs, VMs, but also logical switches, and we provide real-time uh, fabric trace. So when your Geneve tunnels are getting formed across the underlay, uh, we can provide a fabric trace, end-to-end -end, uh, packet tracing for your Geneve tunnels. So how these will flow across the big cloud fabric underlay. So for the demo topology here, what, you, what I'm showing here is we have two NSX uh, T ESXi hosts and one KVM node. And these are connected to the Big Cloud Fabric Enterprise Cloud, uh, and which is managed by this Enterprise Cloud Controller. And it's connecting to the NSXT manager over a management network. And on the logical topology, we see the VTAPs are created on each of these nodes. We have the VMs that are sitting uh, controlled by the NSX manager. And then this is the EVPC in the underlay that we talked about with the transport subnet which is required to communi uh, establish communication between the Geneve tunnels. So here we go to the NSX uh, GUI. We see that the three nodes are, uh, the three transport nodes are shown here, and they are part of the overlay transport zone. We see the overlay host switch, which is the NSX managed VDI switch on each of these hosts. The logical switch created with VNI 5000. And then these are the three VMs that are attached to that logical switch. So, in the demo, what we'll show is how easy it is to enable the NSXT EVPC in the underlay, right? And then uh, the next, we'll focus on the real-time visibility for uh, looking at the NSXT host, VMs, VTAPs, or the logical switches. And third, we'll see how, uh, with one click, we can trace the end-to-end -end, uh, path of the Geneve tunnels across the Big Cloud Fabric underlay. So here we are back to the Big Cloud Fabric uh, controller GUI. Uh, we see that no EVPC uh, for NSXT has been established yet, so we are creating one now. All we have to do is point it to the NSXT manager, and we assign an EVPC for the NSXT deployment, and that's it. That, the uh, EVPC is created, and this screen just shows that other EVPCs that are present in the Big Cloud Fabric, right? So we have one newly created NSXT EVPC, we have one for NSXV, for a couple of vCenters, and a WIC and a VIO EVPC. And as you can see here, the, all the subnets belonging to those EVPCs are automatically pulled in, and you can filter by creating, just clicking on any of the EVPC. So here we go to the transport subnet that is created for the NSXT EVPC. The VLAN 99 is a transport VLAN that is being used by the Geneve tunnels. And we see that the interface groups have these VLANs provisioned on it, and we all auto-discovered the NSXT VTEPs the endpoints between which the Geneve tunnel is formed. And here we go back to the NSXT GUI and we can see the Geneve tunnels, a full mesh of Geneve tunnels is automatically established. So now let's focus on the visibility, right? So how uh, the Big Cloud Fabric Enterprise Cloud Controller GUI can give you all the visibility. So you see the quick summary of the host, virtual switches and the endpoints from this screen. If you scroll down, you see the host and the overlay host switch that we pointed earlier. And you can see how the uh, overlay host switch uplinks are connecting to the uh, Big Cloud Fabric. You can clearly get all the information on what the uplinks are. And here are the endpoints that are automatically discovered. So this is the uh, VMs and the VTEPs. So you see this is the VM and the, the VTEP and with IP addresses and uh, the type of endpoint it is. And this is a uh, view on the logical, uh, real-time visibility on the logical switch. So here we can see uh, in a single page, right, all the NSXT VMs, what logical switch they are connecting to, what are the host nodes and what are the VTAPs on these host nodes, and how they connect to the Big Cloud Fabric underlay. So it gives you a real uh, underlay overlay correlation just from a single picture. And then lastly, we'll see how we can trace the Geneve tunnels. So what we are showing here is the two nodes. Uh, with uh, the VTEPs on them, so these are the uh, VTEPs and the fabric trace showing the Geneve tunnel path in the NSX underlay, right? So let's see how we got this information. So all we have to do is just click on the endpoint, select the tunnel endpoint, source, destination, and just run the fabric trace. 
And let me just pause one second here so I can show you that. So what this is doing is it traced the path of the packet in the underlay and now it's showing you exactly what switches the pa packet is through and the ingress and egress interface on each of these switches. So here you can see it, there's the ingress and egress on this switch and so on. Um, so if the tunnel was not getting established, you would see that at a certain point the, uh, the flow would break. That would exactly tell you which is the offending switch and you can go there and look more in for more details. So it's giving you that level of visibility here. And on the left hand side again, you can see more details about each hop. So here we are showing you four hops, right? So each, uh, more details about each hop is presented on the left hand side. And to get hands on experience with the Big Cloud Fabric, uh, I encourage you to go to labs.bigswitch.com and try the hands on lab for yourself. Uh, and that brings us to the end of the demo. Thank you.